Mutter. Two, three. There you go, there you go, there you go. Just wait, wait. Okay, let me do it again. One, two, three. Oops. Wait, let it go, let it go, let it go. Okay, let me blow it for you. And remember, do it like a dragon. Okay, one, two, three, blow. Nope, with your nose. There you go. Okay, breathe in. Am I supposed to do it like a dragon? Breathe with your nose. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, again, breathe in. Breathe out. <laughs> I farted with my mouth. <laughs> okay. Mm, good my job. Dad? Yeah. Don't forget to open your mouth. <laughs> what? Look in the mirror. I'm saying I'm squirt Okay, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to show Papa. <laughs> Good job. Hey guys and gals, Mama Bear here with a daily dash of life. If you haven't already, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button to get notifications of my latest videos. I want to share with you the things that I've learned through my experiences with nasal rinse, nasal lavage, whatever you want to call it because although it has many, many names, the goal remains the same, and that is to get out all of that yucky crud that is keeping our precious little cubs from breathing well. Now off camera, I dissolved some saline solution into some distilled water. Now let me emphasize distilled because you should never use tap water during this process. If you don't have saline solution packets, then you can just add half a teaspoon of iodine-free salt into one cup of distilled water then just add it to the microwave for about 20 to 30 seconds. After dissolving the solution into the distilled water, make sure to test the water before using it on yourself or your cups, just to make sure it's not too hot. I will leave the recipe to the saline solution as well as a link to the syringe, the nasal syringe, in the description box below. Real quick disclaimer, the person receiving the nasal wash should not have an ear infection at the time of the nasal wash. Another disclaimer I would like to add is if you have never done a nasal rinse before, then I strongly suggest you doing it on yourself before performing it on anyone else. There's going to be some kinks that you're going to have to work out, how much pressure you're going to need to use, uh, the angle that you're going to have to use. So that would be best done on yourself rather than your cubs. Because it would be horrible if you were doing all this on your cubs and then they just really, really got a bad taste in their mouth for the nasal rinse. It's also good for you to get out any tension or any jitters you may have about the whole thing, so please do it on yourself beforehand. I prefer warm water for myself and the cubs, and because I've done it on myself before, I know that the more relaxed I am, the better that it feels. So I made sure to talk the cubs through the process to make sure that they were as comfortable and as relaxed as possible as well. 
Next, have your cub lean forward into the sink so that all the mucus can fall into the sink. Then I just grab the chin and slightly tilt to the opposite side that I, I will put the syringe up to. And you do this because you want the saline and mucus to be directed to one side. Then after that, oh, make sure that you don't tilt too much because the saline solution will go into the ear canal. And if that happens, you'll cause an ear infection. And you don't wanna fix one problem just to cause another. So be careful with that. Once your cup is tilted just right and your nostril is, and your syringe is up to your nostril of choice, make sure to create a seal so that the saline solution doesn't come shooting out the bottom. Then just push with the right amount of pressure so that the mucus comes shooting out of the opposite nostril. I did give instructions to each cub beforehand to just breathe through their mouth and then at the time that I apply the saline to just stop breathing completely. I was trying to avoid them accidentally aspirating any saline. So if, I suggest if you have to do a countdown, just do a countdown if that helps. I mean, why not? Of course, with Brother Bear, who wouldn't understand, I just had to do what I could. I wanted to hold him like a football, but because of his weight, it didn't quite work out. But thankfully, I have a long countertop that I could just use as support. And I have to admit, I was still fumbling around a bit, but I just tried my hardest to refer to my fundamentals. So with the older cubs, I use a full syringe full at once, but with Brother Bear, because he's smaller, I only use half of a syringe full at once. And it's great for allergy and cold season. Not only does it get all the gunk and crud that's in our sinuses, but it also clears up everything that's in our chest. And if we've started coughing, it helps with that. Or if we have been coughing, then, and we're just trying to get rid of the cough, it helps with that, gets all that mucus out. It helps so much. I hope you found this video useful and I hope you learned something new today that you didn't know yesterday. Toodles. Can you blow it? <laughs> Yay, you did it. Let me see, breathe in. Breathe out. <laughs> this has been Mama Bear with a Daily Dash of Life. And as always, don't forget to spice up yours. May God bless you. Thanks for watching. To subscribe, click my watermark and click any video icon for more videos or to start a playlist. Check out bonus footage at Instagram and Twitter at a daily dash of life. Toodles!